Hey, Ron and Annie in the car doctor. We're in the shop today. It's Friday. We're trying to finish up the week. I've got a 12 Escape over here to my side. You're going to see it in a minute. It came in earlier in the week with a P0201 injector circuit cylinder one open circuit and a P0301 misfire cylinder one. What do I always tell you? A misfire doesn't necessarily mean spark. A misfire, an engine misfires for one of three basic reasons. A mechanical problem, an ignition problem, or a fuel delivery problem. Here's an example of a fuel delivery problem. Alex is on the camera today. We're oming the injector, and I'll show you how we got here when I get over to the car, right? We're, we're tapped in across the injector. The, the, the injector is open circuit, right? There's no resistance here. It's an electrical device. It has to have resistance. We're going to plug in to another one. They all read about 12 ohms, okay? I could go through the pile. They're all going to come to the same. So what I've done is I've now proven electrically, okay, that this is a good injector. This is a bad injector. This is a light bulb that won't turn on. The filament's burnt and it's hanging out in space, okay? So come on over to the car a second. All right, here's my fault codes, if Al can get on that, P0201, 301, and it shows you 316. That's because Ford um, is one of the car companies that they will count revolutions of misfire, or I'm sorry, misfires in the first 1,000 revolutions. You notice it says uh, misfire detected on startup, first 1,000 revolutions. It's not current because it wasn't current at the time that I checked it, but it's, it's, that's what that's about. It's related to this, 201, 301, injector circuit open, pending. Ig ig cylinder one misfire detected misfire not ignition misfire i'm going after the injector all right let's go up top this is a picture all right from the scope we were using we were using a snap-on two channel on a triton all right here's a here's a known good injector here's cylinder six all right 12 volts the circuit gets turned on bang the injector opens it drops to zero there's our pulse width. You heard the term pulse width. There's pulse width. That's the amount of time the injector is open. We can measure it and come up with how many milliseconds that is. Then the injector gets turned back off. There's a voltage kick, all right, excess voltage as it comes into the windings, and then boom, it's, it, it, it flattens out. If you notice, I'm tapped in this injector number one as well. There's no pattern. What happened? That's because the injector that you saw was open circuit. No electrical energy could be dissipated and discharged through the injector. Here it is fixed, all right? We've got a fresh set of injectors in it. We did them all because it's a 12 year old vehicle with 150,000 miles on it. And you can see, now the pattern matches, all right? Everything makes sense. And that's basically what I wanted to show you here. Misfire, not ignition, bad, bad injector, I'm sorry, good injector, bad injector, and the repair step-by-step -step diagnostic approach being methodical will convince you and the customer with a printout don't be afraid to print things all right because it really helps along the way of what you did to fix the vehicle and whether or not it's really fixed with that i want to tell you i hope you got something from this keep in mind if you like what you see on our youtube channel please like the post subscribe all right like our stuff on social media at ron and Anian, as well as on facebook ron and Anian, the car doctor and if you get a chance Make sure you get out and find us on podcast if you can't find us on one of our 180 plus radio stations around the country. Get out to your favorite podcast player, Google, Apple, Amazon, whoever, and uh, pick us up, Ron and Amy and the Car Doctor. Until the next time, I'll see you guys on radio. Have a good weekend. Did you miss this week's full broadcast of Ron and Amy and the Car Doctor? Or maybe you want to hear certain parts of it all over again. Well, it's easy to do. Once the show airs, it then becomes a podcast. You can find it through all major podcast players and media, iHeartMedia, Google, Amazon Music, Spotify, and so much more. Use your favorite search engine and ask for Ron and Anian Podcast. Watch what happens next. Need more Ron? That's okay. Look for Ron and Anian, available via podcast, wherever podcasts are found.